today's video, we will be comparing four bikes from Rode VideoMic to Rode VideoMic Pro down to the stereo VideoMic Pro and to the VideoMic Pro Plus. Wow. There's a lot of uh, Video Micro or Video Micro there, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, it's gonna be exciting, so hang tight and we'll do it right now. These are the mics that I have used over the years. I've acquired them and Rode did not pay me to do this comparison video. And it's gonna be exciting guys because maybe you are looking for the right microphone for your camera. Well, you've come to the right place and you can choose later on at the end of the video which one is the right one for you. So let's go to the first uh, shotgun on camera mic. And this one was introduced in 2004. And this was the first ever Rode video mic that I bought way way back guys so it's been uh, with me for ages yeah the thing about this mic is this one has a super cardioid polar pattern meaning it captures sound what's in front of it and some sound on both sides and not much to the back and also this one is powered by a 9 volt battery as you can see right here and this mic is made out of rugged ABS construction in other words it's made of plastic but the plastic is not too bad it's actually well built and it won't last if it's not, right? And this Rode video mic has a high pass filter wherein you can just switch it easily. Also, this one has a built-in Rycote liar wherein, as you can see right now, it's color red. It's like grabbing attention. That's the only thing here. It would be nice if this is black, but it's okay. As long as the mic works, then that's all that matters. And this mic has a 3.5 TRS cable that you can just plug to your DSLR camera or your mobile device using a TRRS adapter and this will just work fine. And they also included this Rode foam which is a snug fit to the main mic itself. The good thing about this mic is you can just put this on the cold shoe mount and just plug it into your 3.5 millimeter port and you are good to go. And now we'll move on to the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro. And guys, look at this thing. This one has a funky design and this one's also made of uh, plastic. And this was introduced in 2012. And once it's out in the market, I got one right away. And the good thing about this, guys, is it's robust. It's very well made. I think the plastic of this one is better than the one from the Rode VideoMic. And of course, this Rode Stereo VideoMic Pro has two one half inch condenser microphones, which are actually inside this round mesh. And the good thing about that is they also provided this windscreen foam, which is very helpful. And this one is powered by one 9 volt battery which can last you for about 100 hours. Yeah, I've tested it and they're just about right. And this one as well has a removable battery door. Just like that. And this Rode Stereo VideoMic Pro has its own shock mount which has four of the rubber holders and they work just fine. This mic also has a high pass filter and this mic also has a three stage pad wherein you can set it to zero, to minus 10 and to plus 20. The good thing about the plus 20 is that you can just uh, lower down the gain of your uh, camera's preamp input. It will then capture the best sound possible without introducing noise. And right now, we'll move on to the Rode Video Micro. Wow. Actually guys, this is one of my favorites since it's very small. And let me talk to you about the body itself. So this one actually is made of aluminum and upon removing the wind muff that it comes with. And as you can see right here guys, this one's only 80 millimeter in length or 3.2 inches. How about that, huh? And this also comes with this shock mount. And the good thing about the shock mount is when uh, you place it to your DSLR, it will definitely dampen the sound very well since this mic is kind of floating when it's attached here and you won't introduce any other noise aside from the one that will pick up in front of it. This one also has a cardioid polar pattern and the good thing about this is this is actually plug and play. So meaning to say no batteries needed. All you have to do is to plug it in to your 3.5 port for your camera's microphone input and you are good to go. It's amazing guys. And as I said earlier, this one comes with a wind muff right here. 
A good thing about this is even if it's outdoors, you won't hear the wind or this will definitely protect the mic from different sounds or even the wind noise. So definitely you'll get a better sound. And last but not the least guys, let's move on to our fourth one which is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Yeah, that's the right name for it. Actually guys, I got this for free in 2019 when I joined the My Road Reel short film competition. Of course, it's a very good mic and the good thing about that is that I didn't buy this one. So I'm happy and this one works like a charm. This one also has a high pass filter from 75 to 150. This mic also has a three stage pad wherein you can just set it to zero to minus 10 and plus 20 kind of like the stereo video mic pro. It's well built and it's made of plastic as well. I think among the three that's made of plastic, this one's uh, built way, way better. And this one comes with a rechargeable lithium LB1 battery that you can just remove easily like so. Very nice case, right? And the thing about this compartment right here is that you can actually use two AA batteries that you can find anywhere. It's available everywhere. And another one is that you can actually plug this one using a USB micro cable. Let's say you're filming at home or even at your studio. You can just plug it in while the LB1 battery is inside and it's charging. And at the same time, you're using it. This is really nice. But you know, guys, the best feature that I really, really like with this Rode VideoMic Pro Plus is the one that you can actually set it to automatically stop and start using it. Which is a plus because there's a lot of times that I forget to turn on my microphone when I'm filming wedding. So it's a no-no. You have to have audio. And then when I found out that this one has that, it got me really, really excited. So right now, I will show you how to enable that feature. So all you have to do is to press the high pass filter together with the power button for at least three seconds and if it blinks one time meaning it's set to on and if it blinks three times it's now set to off and there you go guys now we've come to the part wherein we test the audio and what better way to test the audio of each microphone than using it as an on-camera mic to a DSLR like what we have right now First things first is we'll start off with the Rode video mic. All right, here we go. Broadcasting from my home studio in Ontario, Canada, and you are listening to the Rode video mics audio. The setting is zero as well as zero on the camera's preamp. And right now I am one foot away. And I'm gonna back up right now and I'm two feet away from the microphone. Do you hear a difference at all? All right, moving on right now. So how does it sound? Do you like it or do you not? Broadcasting from my home studio in Ontario, Canada. And right now, you're listening to the Stereo Video Mic Pro and I am one foot away right now. Do you like how it sounds? Let me know in the comment section below. And right now, I'm gonna back up for another one foot. Broadcasting live from Ontario, Canada. And you're listening to the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro. How does it sound, guys? Do you like this better? Or do you like the other one better, which is one foot away? Right now, this is two feet away from the microphone. And there you go, guys. That's the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro. You like the sound? Or if you like this sound, way, way better. Broadcasting from my home studio in Ontario, Canada. And right now, you're listening to the Rode video micro this one is a tiny microphone do you like the audio right now or not let me know in the comment section below i am one foot away from the mic and let me know if you like the sound or not and the mic is plug and play no need for battery and right now i'm one foot away i'm now gonna back up for another foot and here we go right now with the sound again guys broadcasting from my home studio in ontario canada let me know your thoughts let me know if you like the sound of this road video micro if I'm two feet away from the microphone itself and now I'm gonna go back to one foot and just so you know guys that the room is not treated at all so maybe you will be hearing a lot of background noise so there's that that is the Rode video micro now let's move on to the next broadcasting from my home studio in Ontario Canada and right now you're listening to the Rode video mic pro plus so how do you like the sound? Let me know in the comment section below. Is this better than the other ones or worst? All right, guys, participate in the comment section below 
and let me know what you think. I'm right now one foot away from the mic and I'm gonna back up and let me see if you like the audio. I am now two feet away from the microphone. Again, this one is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, which is the latest mic and the mic that I've been using a lot of times for this camera. Let me know in the comment section below if you like the sound of it as well. And right now I'm back to one foot away from the mic itself. And let me tell you guys that again, this room is not treated at all. So maybe you'll be hearing a lot of background noise as well as some echo. All right, that's about it for the test. And I'll let you know which one I like best. There you go, guys. I hope you like the test that I did. Which one do you like best? Let me know in the comment section below. And do you think that you can still use one of these in 2021 for your YouTube videos or any video projects that you are going to be doing in the near future? This is very exciting because the one that I like the most, really, guys, is the one right here. This is my favorite Rode mic ever when it comes to on-camera microphones because I like the sound of it. Even if you're far away, you sound so crisp and clean and this one has a lot of features that I love you can't go wrong with some of these mics because of course they work very well and I highly highly recommend this video micro if you're on a budget so yeah there you go guys so if you have questions or any reactions comment down below and if you find this video helpful don't forget to like hit that subscribe button and don't forget huh to hit that bell notification as well to be notified with more awesome videos so until next time I will see you in the next video video. Goodbye for now.